So let's go over some concerns for your business or calling card. The what you see here is your basic business card. Now there's something about a business card that's a little bit different than you might want to do. A business card typically has your the company that you work for, your name, your title, the company address, um, a phone number, a fax number, a website, and the email address that you use. Now, the back of this card also has the mission and vision statements of, of Lone Star College. The disadvantage to that is that by putting the title here, as the title change changes, or you do different things within a company, you wind up having to reprint business cards. And if, say, you print 500, use 200, then you throw 300 away because they're not really all that particularly relevant. You might change offices, the uh, your phone number might change. So that can create problems in terms of in terms of reprinting, especially in bulk, which usually happens with corporations. So. Um, here's the contact info that I use for my art-related uh, business card. This is the back side. Um, so instead of putting the website address and, and the name as separate things, I just put my name with .com at the end because that is my website address. Um, I'm lucky enough to have my name. Um, then include the phone number and the email address. And the nice thing about this sort of thing is that the lettering and numbering is really big, so you can read it. So you never know who's gonna, who you're gonna interact with, and you don't know if their vision is great or anything. So you can see if I put the two cards next to each other, that it's much much easier to read the larger print, and there's nothing wrong with having print that's that's um, big and readable. So my coworker Tommy. Um, he has a, a similar approach to creating a business card. Um, you'll see that he uses basically an email address and a website, and that's it. You can kind of tell that he's an artist because it's TommyTaylorArt.com. And on the back, he has a cropping of one of his pieces um, and kind of creates an engaging look to it. It's a standard size business card. Too. Um, probably now, if you put .com at the end of something, you don't necessarily need the www. Um, so you can uh, do something like that if you if you choose. Now, the interesting thing that I've done with my card that I really like, I went with uh, Moo Printing, and they allow you to upload different images to um, uh, every single card, just about up to the limit of like 25 or 50 or something. So I chose to do um, spot glass work. So you'll see on the back that there's an image from one of the paintings, um, or a shape from one of the paintings that I've done recently um, that's done in spot glass. And then I used the spot glass elements and different images from various paintings to kind of create um, uh, things that go with or counter to some of the images. So these are all kind of going with that. And then this one runs counter, so I kind of get two images in one here. Um, same thing here, where it's two different images. And I just kind of cycled through using like four or five different spot glass elements and cycled through a bunch of different uh, background elements to kind of create something that was interesting and unique to me and kind of um, gives you a different sort of approach to a business card. Now, the advantage of having like one of these square format cards is that it's a little bit different, but that's also the disadvantage. Because if you think about something fitting in your wallet, the business card fits pretty much perfectly um, in its standard size, but this um, square size isn't really gonna fit, so um, it might be a little bit annoying uh, to a certain type of person, but you know, 
because they're kind of these pure art images on the side, it's like you're taking a little mini piece of art with you that just happens to have some contact info on the uh, opposite side of it. So I think that approach kind of creates something um, good without being too gimmicky. There are a lot of business card gimmicks out there that, you, that you'll that you see um, if you Google stuff. Um, but the main thing with your, with your business card is that um, you... Uh, have your contact info. And that's kind of the last point that I want to make is that business cards now aren't really business cards as they were before. Um, this right here is definitively a business card because it's associated with the company. You have a title and you're within an industry. But either of these two cards are vague enough to be what's called a calling card. And most people are using that now because it's very common to switch industries um, and to change towns, but the things that stay the same because you have a cell phone are your website, your email address, and your phone number. So sticking to that without getting too specific about what industry you're in is a good approach uh, for not having to reprint your business cards all of the time.